The top stories. Water Authority said to be close to self-sufficiency. Sajiko Life and Banks report good financial figures. And a new injury doubt for the Wendy's. Welcome to Nation News for Thursday, April the 30th, 2015. No matter where you are in the world, at home or abroad, Nation News keeps you connected with what's happening in Barbados. Through our website, video newscast, and online e-papers. So stay connected with Nation News. Your news, your time, your way. The Barbados Water Authority could soon wean itself completely off the public purse. The Water Minister, David Espick, said the BWA is close to being fully independent, not requiring financial assistance from government. He was speaking at the groundbreaking ceremony for two stages of a massive $100 million water mains upgrading program. Dr. Espick said the BWA is becoming a modern, efficient and financially viable institution committed to ensuring that the water supply remains adequate. Additional resources of groundwater have been found through the St. Philip Water Augmentation Project. And so far, six wells have been dug and will go into operation after electricity has been installed. The, and the pumps placed and testing completed. That project was to find 3.5 million gallons of water per day to supplement the needs of water for the St. Philip and Christchurch catchment areas. And that has been found. This winter season has been good to at least one car rental business. Managing Director of Dridomatic, Aldo Ho Kong King, said things were starting to look up. He painted a picture which ran parallel to the hotel industry. We operate very much like a hotel. Um, winter is, is important because that's where the money is made. Summer is, is heavy discounting uh, and, uh, and low volume. Um, so you, you basically try to, um, to keep your uh, head afloat through summer to make it into winter. Mr. Ho Kong said Barbados had a good safety record on the road and it was easy to rent a car, while restaurants and sightseeing offered an attractive package. He warned that escalating crime could destroy that reputation. Financial reports from five companies have been published in the weekend nation, among them Banks Holdings and Sajiko Life. Figures for the six months ending February 28th show banks reporting modest revenue growth of nearly 4%. Sajiko Life gave a full year report showing a rise in net profit of 11% for the year ending December the 31st, 2014. Other companies reporting are Globe Finance, Sun General Insurance and Harmony General Insurance. And you can read the financial statements in the Weekend Nation. Out today early this week because of the May Day public holiday. It's now easier for Barbadians to get a visa for travel to India. Barbados is among 31 countries newly given access to India's e-tourist visa scheme, which allows travelers to go through the visa application process online, saving them the hassle of going through the Indian embassy. So a tourist needs to apply for a visa online at least three days in advance, pay the fee and carry a print of the travel authorization to get the necessary stamp at the immigration checkpoint to enter India. In cricket, there's some doubt over the fitness of West Indies leg spinner Devendra Bishu for the third test against England at Kensington Oval starting on Friday. Bishu cut a finger on his bowling hand during this 51 over spell in the second test in Grenada, which was lost by the West Indies. Vero Sami Pramol, the Guyanese left-arm spinner, is on standby. Wanderers Cricket Club has honoured three players who came through its ranks to reach the highest level of the game. They are West Indies one-day captain Jason Holder, England pacer Chris Jordan and West Indies women's cricketer Haley Matthews. And finally, police in Florida are asking the public to help identify two women shoplifters, one of whom was wearing a shirt with the words won't be caught. They were captured on camera, shoplifting almost $1,500 in cologne and perfume from a store. Won't be caught? How will they?
That's Nation News for Thursday. For more, log on to nationnews.com as well as YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And remember to pick up your Daily Nation, yes, the Daily Nation on Friday, or subscribe to our e-paper.